love letter. So this this is a very simple game. Very small deck of cards. Everyone is going to be dealt one card, uh, and it will be numbered from one to nine, I think. One to eight. Oh, right there on the back of your reference card. Yeah. Is the card cam working? It is. Look at that. Those are the possible cards uh, on your reference card. The number on the left is the value of the card. The number in parentheses on the right is how many of that card there are in there are in the deck. Everybody's going to be dealt one card. One card is going to be set aside, face down, so that we can't just card count our way to victory. Um, and on your turn, you will draw a card and then play a card. You can play the card you draw, or you can play the card that you already had. When you play a card, you will take whatever its action is. The guard's ability is to guess what another player's card is. Just name any card in the deck that isn't a guard. If you're right, that player is eliminated from the round. Hmm. Your objective, by the way, is by the time you get to the end of the deck, either be the last player standing or the player with the highest value card. Once the deck is done. Once the deck is depleted. You do score a point. Yeah. The, uh, the premise of the theme is we are all suitors vying for the affections of the princess. We're trying to get our love letter into the princess's hands. Okay, okay. And the higher value card in your hand the closer you've gotten mm, to the princess. That's who you're giving your letter Yeah, that's who you're giving your letter to and saying, hey, give this to the princess. I get it. That's the, the theme. title of the game. Yeah, I that's, get it. that's the theme. So, guard, when you play a guard, point to somebody and say, say any card in the deck that isn't a guard. If you're, you're a right, prince. Yeah. If you're right, he's eliminated. If not, nothing happens. Got it. Got it. Uh, priest, when you play it, pick somebody, look at their card mm. so you know what they have. Baron, when you play that one, pick somebody, then look at your card next to their card. Whoever has the higher value card stays in. Whoever has the lower value card is eliminated. The Handmaid lets, protects you from being targeted by anybody else until it's your turn again. The Prince, uh, you pick anybody at the table and say, discard your hand. Could pick yourself. Mm. Maybe, you draw, maybe, maybe I hate the Baron and I don't want to keep him. So I'll play the prince, discard the baron, and draw a new card. Because when you, yeah, when you're forced to discard, you'll draw a new card, unless you're eliminated in the process. Hmm. Uh, the king, when you play that one, you trade hands with anybody else. Okay. Okay. The countess is like there's no special ability there when played, but you have to discard her if when you when you have her, you've got either the prince or the king. So if she's in your hand and you draw one of those two, or vice versa, you have to discard her. Also, the princess, if you discard her for any reason, you lose. You're out. I'm just like, mm, I'll choose another princess. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a countess. You can also discard it. You can also, you di you can also and discard and it and by and choice. bluff, like, oh. I yeah, make people think, think you've got hard. either a prince or a king oh, or a princess. Any points till victory? How many points is it till victory? Because every every round that you win, you score a token. With four players, it's up to four tokens. All right. So first to four tokens of affection is the winner. Uh, one thing uh, uh, is that score is when you play your card, play them like left to right, so that people know what you. Played. Oh. Oh, you didn't know about that. Never played it that way. Yeah, that way you can look and see what's been played for like a guard. Ah. I thought you just had to try and remember. Hmm. And maybe not in the thing, in the, like how we play. Also, Board Game Arena does that, but does it? Yeah. Interesting. It is kind of fun because then you can get really like yeah, like I don't know, mind that to lay your cards out in order. Oh, overlap. The, yeah, all yeah, discarded yeah. cards remain in front of the player who discarded them. Yeah. So it's way. not just play it out here; it's play it out in front of yourself. You play it in front of yourself, so I can be like, I've seen what you've all played. And so it guards get more and more lethal. Yeah. So like, there's less cards that can be more. Overlap active. the cards so it's clear in what order they were discarded. Yeah, so that's also too. important too. Because sometimes you're, okay. like, you're trying to be like, what did you Wow. Know? Yeah. That that puts a whole new spin on this game. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. excited to play it this way. Okay, Let's cool. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, 
head on over to twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific Time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.